So now we want to go to step number five and insert some of the word art in the arrow. So according to the PDF solution, it should look something like this when we are done. So in step number five, we're going to, in the, in the shape, we're going to insert word art. Okay, so for your word art, we want to go under the insert tab. And you want to select the one that is fill white with blue outline. And it has a very specific one there. So it should be blue accent color five with the shadow, which is row one, column four. You need to choose the exact one that they tell you. And then we want to change the text to active kits. And change the text effect. Let me click out of side of that and I'm going to click back in and, and select it. Change the text effects to transform slant up. So this is not the shape effects, it's the text effects right here. So the text effect is slant up. It's in the warp section. So we're going to go to transform. And it should be the very last one in the first column here that looks like it goes up to the right. We're going to select in front of text wrapping. Okay, and it's already there. And ensure that the font is Calibri. Yes, it is. And the font size is 36. Yes, it is. And it says, do not deselect the word object. Okay, so we're going to leave that and then go next to step number six. Click position on the shape format tab. And click more layout options. I'm going to close this one there. Okay, more layout options. And then we're going to select the absolute. Again, this is telling it exactly where it wants it to be on the page and relative to other things on the page. So the horizontal should be 1.6 to the right of the column and absolute should be vertical uh, 0.02 below the paragraph. Okay. Then we want to, in step number seven to duplicate that word art object. So I'm just going to copy it. Paste it. I'm not going to worry about where it is right now because we're going to set the position in a minute. So we want to change the text to healthy, healthy teeth. And I'm not going to put the period there. And then you want to set the position under more layout options. Horizontally, 3.2 to the right of the column and 0.1 below the paragraph. Okay, so it's moved it over here. And I'm going to click outside of that so that you can see it looks more like what's in the PDF uh, file. So in number eight, we're going to add this picture to our flyer. So we're just going to go into insert pictures from this device. And It's the little monkey picture. And it's going to eventually go in front right here. So we want to change the height of the picture to one. 
and select front of text wrapping so that it goes in front of that object. And then drag it up here. It doesn't have to be exact because we're going to tell it next exactly where we want to put it through the position. Okay, so the absolute position for horizontal should be 0 0.02 relative uh, or to the right of the column and 0 0.02 below the paragraph. Okay, so while you still have the picture selected, you want to apply picture effect of soft edges five point. Sorry, I'm going to go to picture effects here. And that should be again soft edges five points. So there's one point, two and a half, and then five. Now you also want to apply an artistic effect of crisscross etching. So that's the artistic effect here. This is the crisscross etching. So that's the one you should select. And so that should complete up to step number nine. I'm going to make sure I save it and I'll continue in another video.